Hello students, I have a beautiful problem today. It involves computing the area of a region. Now, sometimes a mathematician should be lazy. I'll show you how you can solve this problem in two different ways. Now, one of those ways involves a complex integration. The other one just uses geometry. If you mindlessly do the problem, then you can use the integration method and you will still get the answer. But if you be a little bit lazy, if you pause and think about it, then you will quickly discover this second method, which is much more elegant in my opinion. So, let's look at this. It says that find the region in the plane, which is denoted by these two expressions, intersection of these two expressions. Well, the first one is absolute value of y is less than or equal to 1. Let's draw that. So, here is the xy plane and let me just write it like this. Okay, here is the xy plane and we want absolute value of y to be less than or equal to 1. So the y coordinate, whether it's positive or whether it's negative, the absolute value of it, it should be less than or equal to 1. You can convert this absolute value expression into a, an equation like this. y is between minus 1 and plus 1. And that's easy to draw. You just draw plus 1, y equal to plus 1, that particular line, and y equal to minus 1, that particular line. And you can shade the region in between. So all the points which are between these two red lines, they satisfy this condition that the y coordinates absolute value is less than 1, less than equal to 1. Okay, what is the second condition? The second condition is x square plus y square is less than or equal to 2. So basically, if we draw the corresponding or write the corresponding equation, x square plus y square equal to 2, this is the equation of a circle with radius square root of 2. Radius is square root of 2, right? If you remember, equation of a circle is the simplest form of it is x square plus y square equal to r square where r is the radius. In this particular case, it's given that this is equal to 2. So you can write 2 as square root of 2 whole square and you will get the given form. So how do I draw this? Well, it has to be a circle with center 0, 0 and radius square root of 2 so square root of 2 is a little bit more than this, like this. You can sort of schematically draw this. I always prefer, you know, drawing the picture in a nice way so that you get more intuition about the problem. So if this is 1, 1 1.414, that square root of 2 approximately is kind of like this. And then I can draw the picture. So let me just mark it in blue and let's draw the picture like this and this part. And we want x square plus y square is less than or equal to 2. So the entire region that's inside the circle. Right? Okay. So what do I want? I want the intersection of the area inside this circle and the area enclosed by the two red lines. That's my goal. That's what I want to find out. Okay, so let me sort of draw that. Maybe like this. So this is the region that I'm interested in. This is the region that I'm interested in. I want to find out 
the area of this region. Now, if you know calculus, then the solution can be immediate. What you can do is that you can find the area of this little piece and by symmetry, if you make it four times, then you get the answer. Just find the area of this little piece and make it four times. And how do you make the area, uh, if compute the area of this? Well, you can turn the graph around and you can do an integration from zero to one because the height is one, highest value of y is one and the lowest value of y is zero. So, let, let me write that. Let's look at the expression x squared plus y squared equal to 2. Then x squared equals to y, 2 minus y squared. And x is equal to square root of 2 minus y squared. Right? And what we are going to do is we are going to integrate it from 0 to 1 by y. So we are integrating along y, okay? So the x values, the x value, this particular, this particular portion of the arc, the formula for that is square root of 2 minus y square. That's what we found here, right? Square root of 2 minus y square. So if you plug in the value of y equal to 0, you will get the corresponding x value. If you plug in the value y equal to 1, you will get the corresponding x value and so on and so forth. So, I'm, I'm sort of turning the graph around. So, you have to see in this direction. Turning the graph around and I want to find out the area under this curve. This curve. So, I've turned the graph around. I'm looking like this now and I want to find out the area under this curve. And how do I do that? Well, I'll take the integration from 0 to 1 square root of 2 minus y square dy. That's the answer. Well, of course, you have to calculate it. And if you remember, and this is a very common integral form, that square, so this is sometimes written as square root of a square minus x square dx. Integration of that. This indefinite integral, you may have learned in high school, this is x times square root of a square minus x square by 2 plus a square by 2 sine inverse x by a. This is the integral. This is a very complex looking integral. You can try to figure out why it is so. But don't worry if you don't know calculus because in a moment we will be lazy and we'll think about this problem in a different way. But just bear with me for a moment because this computation, getting your hands dirty is also important. So here a is in this, in this expression, a is square root of 2, right? So let's, let me write this. So this is x, uh, sorry, in this it, it is happening in terms of y. So y by times 2 minus y square by 2 plus, oh, Oh, uh, yeah. And if this is 2 by 2, a square root of 2, so a square is 2, times sine inverse, oh, sorry, this is y, uh, x, so y by square root of 2. This we want to do from 0 to 1. You want to com compute the limits from 0 to 1. Okay, so how do I do that? Just let's plug in the value of y and see what happens. So, let's copy it here. Let's paste it here. Okay. So, plug in y equal to 1. So, you get 1 times square root of 2 minus 1 by 2 plus, this 2, 2 cancels, sine inverse 1 by square root of 2 minus, now if you plug in the 0, if you plug in 0, you can see immediately this one will become 0, right? This, this part will become 0 y is 0, so this part is 0. And here also, you can see sine inverse 0 is also 0. So, you're not subtracting anything. Sine inverse 0 is 0. Okay. So, 
Now, what do we have? Well, we have half plus sine inverse pi by 2. Sine inverse, oh sorry, sine inverse 1 by root 2. Sine, sine of pi by 4 is 1 by root 2. So, this is pi by 4. So, you found it. Now, you can just multiply it by 4 because what we just found is the area of this region and by symmetry, if we multiply by 4, I'll get this entire blue region, right? So, let's multiply by 4. 4 times this. So, this is 2 plus pi. That's the answer, okay? But as I told you, this problem should not be done like this. At least if you are looking for an elegant solution, it should not be done like this. If you just look at this problem, you will actually get a better solution immediately. So, let me just paste it here. And let's look at this carefully. So, the first thing you realize if you look at this carefully is that this particular point here, this particular point's coordinate is 1, 1. Why is that? Well, the expression for the circle is x square plus y square equal to 2. You know that y is 2. y is 1, sorry. y is 1 here, right? y is 1. So, x square plus 1 equals to 2. So, x square equals to 1, which means x is, which means x is, x is equals to 1. This is a positive 1, okay? So, this point is 1, 1, which means if you draw this line, O A suppose, if you draw this line, though it does not look like so, this is the line joining 0, 0 to 1, 1. So, this angle here is 45 degree. This angle here is 45 degree. Right? Because it's y equal to x line, its slope is 1. So, it's making an angle of 45 degree with the x axis. Alright. So, that means this sector here, this sector here, this sector is one-eighth of the entire circle. One-eighth. So, what is the area of the entire circle? The area of the entire circle is pi times root 2 whole square or 2 pi. This is the area of the entire circle. So, what is the area of the sector? The sector's area is 2 pi by 8 or pi by 4. Now, from the sector's area, this entire sector's area, you can remove this area of the triangle. You can remove this area of the triangle. Then you'll get this particular region. So, what is the area of the triangle? Well, its height is 1 and the base is also 1 because this is 1, 1, right? Though it doesn't look like that. But mathematically, you can easily see this is 1, this is 1. So, the area of the triangle is half times 1 times 1, which is half. So, from the sector, from the sector, if you remove the triangle, you will get the white region. So, pi by 4 minus half is the white region in one sort of one quadrant, right? Now, you have four white regions, 1, 2, 3, 4, and all of them must be the same by symmetry. So, let's compute the total white region. It's like times 4, which is pi minus 2, right? That's the total white region. If you delete the total white region from the entire circle's area, you will get the area of the region that you want. So, a total area of the circle is 2 pi, as we saw a moment ago. From that, you delete the white region. So, you delete pi minus 2. So, 2 pi minus pi minus 2 is pi plus 2. Exactly what we got a moment ago. Right? So, be lazy in the sense, just don't just start solving it. Take a moment, pause and think about it. Okay? If you are interested in beautiful mathematical science programs, 
like Math Olympiad, IOKM, American Math Competition, or ISICMI entrances, or Physics Olympiad, or Computer Science Olympiad, or School Research Projects. You can check the link in the description for Chinta's programs. We have been doing this for the last 14 years now, since 2010. I think you will enjoy these programs, and you will learn a lot from it. Thank you for watching. I'll see you in the next one. Take care and bye.